people have to realize that there are some real threats out there, um, and we're trying to help protect their children and their families, and that, that's what we're based off of. Hello, everyone. I'm Esther Vaughn, and welcome to Hometown Talents and Treasures. We're at Bullet Blocker in Bilrica. This company was started seven years ago because of one father's determination to keep his kids safe in school with a bulletproof backpack. Now they make everything from bulletproof purses, iPads, and even bulletproof vests for canines. But what makes this company even more special is that they give back to the community. Seven years ago when I started it, I had two children in elementary school. And I went into their school to see what the um, what their policy was on how to keep their kids safe in a, a active shooter situation because of Columbine and Virginia Tech and all the other school shootings that was happening. And they didn't have anything. It was hide amongst the clothes, um, shut the lights off, close the door, and that was it. So, working at the sheriff's department, I used to deal with the bulletproof vests for the officers. I had a couple old ones, I cut them apart, I put them in my kids' backpacks, and I said, listen, if something happens, grab the pack, hold it in front of you, and you know, then at least you give them something to be safe with. So it all started with a backpack, yep. and uh, this is an, obviously not the original, but yep. an example of it. And so where is the bullet block? Just a, it's here? just a basic backpack, and uh, the panel is in the, in the back here, inside the, uh, the back compartment. So basically what I told them was basically pick it up, hold it in front of you, and put it between you and the threat, and it gives them some level of protection if something does happen. You were one of the first in the country, if not the I first, was. Yep. to, to yep. do something like this. And you've expanded. Yes, yes. And now you are, there's also some in um, briefcases mm -hmm. and police officers. Tell me a little bit more about how much you've expanded. Well, what, what ended up happening was uh, over the years I got a lot of requests from um, police officers, militaries, foreign militaries, uh, regular people off the street said, you know, I really would like to have one in a briefcase. I use a briefcase all the time and it just grew that way. So we expanded the line basically by what people were looking for. Uh, so and even canine. We do canine vests. Um, we have one of our employees started a program that uh, he's raising funds to donate uh, canine vests to local police departments. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Lowell is uh, going to be one of the first recipients of one of our canine vests. So Bullet Blocker is donating one for one, one that he raises money. So. Wow. And what's the material that it's made out of? And we, is it 100% <clears throat> bulletproof? Well, not, nothing is 100% bulletproof. That, that's uh, bullet resistant is the word that we use. Um, it, it's NIJ, the National Institute of Justice, rates material at how much capability it has to stop bullets. So we use a level 3A, and we use Kevlar, which is an American-based product, and we also use a polyethylene. Again, we get out, uh, out of uh, uh, some foreign and then some domestic. Uh, so we use different materials, and so the 3A stops most handguns and sh most shotguns, and that's what goes into the uh, to most of our products. So you do school safety. You also do tactical. Mm -hmm. um, talk a little bit about more about what are the other the, areas. We have a a school safety program. We um, over the years we've expanded. We brought. Uh, brought more people in that have more specialized areas and one of them is uh, the school safety area. So we have a, a program that uh, can be taken into the schools which would include different products that can be, uh, let's call it hidden, uh, that the teacher knows about but the students might not know about that are bulletproof, whether it's a whiteboard that can be hung on the wall. If something happens, the teacher can grab the whiteboard off the wall. Um, Seat cushion, same idea. Uh, a blanket that we have that goes into like a fire um, fire extinguisher wow. holder, that they can take it out and hold it up, and you know the kids can get behind it and they can get out wow. get out the, the room. So there's a, a program in the school safety. For the tactical stuff, we have again uh, people that have an expertise in that area that uh, 
create products that would be beneficial to law enforcement and military uh, that, that aren't currently available. Because we have the ability to customize and make things from scratch here that a lot of the other companies can't. The president of Nigeria, good luck Jonathan, sent us these two garments and asked us to bulletproof them. We can do that, and we did it. So these are, these are now, well, this, they don't have the panels in them, but these are now capable of accepting the panels that we also manufactured for him. Uh, there was a hospital that now, um, I forget what state they were in, I'm sorry to say, but they were looking for 100% bullet resistant carry bags, top, bottom, sides, corners. Not available. We made them. So we can, we can custom make things for people like that. At whatever uh, request. At whatever request. I've made um, a, a lectern for a preacher in Iowa. Wow. And the three sides of it were bulletproof. So he said, if things go bad, I can duck behind, I can duck down behind this lectern. Yeah. A judge's robe, we made a judge's robe that uh, was, you know, shoulders to floor, ballistic. Bottoms of five gallon pails. We've made round panels that go inside those pails for people that uh, are at a shooting range that they need a place to clear their weapon. Mm. So we well, have the ability to customize and make anything. What other big names have you been working with? Uh, we're partnering with, we, we don't have the uh, ability to disclose, but there's a, a Hollywood icon that is, um, we're in touch with that wants to partner up and do some charitable things with us. We fit all the vests to the dogs, so it's like, it's pretty much custom fit to every dog, so it's not anything that would bother them too much. I started Vest for Canines because there was a large influx of police dogs getting hurt out in the field, whether it be getting shot or stabbed. And so I was working with Bullet Blocker as the photographer, like I would photograph all the things, and I thought to myself, well, maybe we could set up a program where we donate vests or something like that. And you know how crowdfunding has been really, really, really big lately? I thought maybe that's the best way to get a revenue stream going. And I talked to the CEO and my bosses and stuff, and they said that they would match the vest. If I saved up enough, if I got enough money from the crowdfunding, that they would match the same amount for the vest. So we'd be able to give two vests away for the price of one, pretty much. What are you learning from these guys? Um, pretty much work hard and pursue what you like because now I'm doing production in addition to that stuff and I'm doing research and development where I'm using my major like physics and stuff to work on different things which is I would never guess I would have been here if you asked me two years ago. Mm, good stuff. It's a bulletproof iPad case. Um, we made it for school systems to give along with the iPads that they supply with their kids, uh, businesses, um, law enforcement, uh, people that have to go out and shut off gas that they don't really have protection. Mm -hmm. So we've come up with a concept and the ballistics are, are built into the case so that you can't tell that it's bulletproof, but it is. And it's level 3A bulletproof, just like the clothing. And, uh, it's one of the many items that we've kind of developed outside the box. You guys also do a lot with mentoring. For example, one of your employees who's a sophomore in college. Why is that important to you? Well, we believe that not only the growth of our employees that we pay, John was one of them, but mentoring young kids in high school. Uh, we have partnered with Shawshine Valley Tech, and we are working with them to bring kids in and you know show them what the real world's like. And we're a fun place to work. So it kind of adds to their growth, and they, they mature with us. Do you guys, uh, besides um, President Golalti, any other countries that you do business with? Is this oh, we're, we're, definitely a, we're, we're definitely an international company. We're uh, currently doing stuff in Chile, Brazil, uh, Mexico, uh, Kuwait, uh, Tunisia, uh, this, uh, as a few of the companies. Um, all programs are kind of specialized, so each one has a different need base. And, could deliver so. Um, in addition to that, we're also from. A <clears throat> we like to give back to the community, and we've partnered with Baca. 
backpack is Bikers Against Child Abuse. And we supply them with bulletproof backpacks uh, so that they can give them to the children that are being threatened. And, uh, you know, we, again, we like to give back to the community. Does it scare you guys? that? You've had to develop a backpack that's bulletproof. Basically, every home item, everyday item that's bulletproof in today's world. Does it scare you guys? Well, the, the way I look at it is there's plenty of things out there that speak to safety, and it, it might not sound great, but the first smoke detector or the first fire extinguisher was developed with the understanding that the kid might catch on fire, so they get a you know, stop, drop, and roll. So they're already talking about, you know, something bad happens. So we, we're reactionary to what the society is and the idea of giving the kids something that they can protect themselves or, or anybody, that, for that matter. It gives them that level of protection. Um, what do you think it says about our society? I, it, I think it's always been here. I think the society's always been, you know, somewhat of a dangerous place. Uh, and it, this is just the, the advanced technology that we come across that helps. So we've created the product with the technology that's available. And um, so as far as a dangerous society, there's always been dangers out there, you know, whether it's uh, dragons uh, or whatever <laughs> it is. So. And, and, you know, it's ironic that my son comes home and he tells me about what they're teaching him in school. So it, it's a tough pill to swallow at times that you have to worry about that, but it's today's reality. And, um, you know, I've talked to close friends of mine that say, oh, we never want to think about this. But the reality is it, it's real. So, uh, you know, Joey mentioned fire extinguishers. You never want to think about a, a building burning down, but there, it's necessary. So from our standpoint, yeah. It, it's something that we need to develop. And For more information on Bullet Blocker, go to bulletblocker.com. And that's our show for today. Thanks so much for joining us. And if there's someone or an organization you'd like to see featured on Hometown Talents and Treasures, email me at estherandvida at gmail.com. Remember, it can be anyone. The important thing is that they selflessly donate their talent and time to help others. See you next time. Yeah.